I live in Waikoloa and work in Waikoloa. I serve as the vice principal here at Waikoloa Elementary and Middle School. And I've also served on the steering committee for the community development plan for the South Kaloa region. And believe it or not, that's why we're here tonight. In 2006, we began a process here by which we got input from the community on what we wanted in our community 20 years from now. What we wanted for our children, what we wanted for the adults, what we wanted for our seniors, what we wanted recreationally, what we wanted in terms of economic, economic opportunity, and what we wanted in terms of our environment. That produced this document, which is also available to you online, and it is called the South Kohala Community Development Plan. In 19, 2009, before uh, Mayor Kim exited office, this was signed into a county ordinance along with community development plans from a number of other areas in the island. This is a very comprehensive look at what we want in this area, and one of the things that people were very clear about wanting was to preserve the beautiful place we have here in Hawaii and in Waikoloa, and to preserve a sense of place. So tonight, we are thrilled to bring you an evening with on the early years in Waikoloa. Many of you, it will be new information to, and some of you, it will be a walk down memory lane. So I'm delighted to be doing that. Before we begin, I do want to really thank the people who served with me on the Waikoloa, Waikoloa Community Development Plan. This core group of volunteers has been here pretty much through that whole time. Um, yeah, I'm going to say my name. Yes, everybody start that. Good job. Good job. Okay, Lisa, don't go anyplace. I do want to start with Lisa Yee. Lisa Yee is the person who is usually standing where I am. She does. She keeps us together and just always does such a wonderful job of making this happen. And it is her steadfast commitment that keeps, even when I'm going, why are we doing this? Reminds me that, the, and tonight reminds me why we do this. Um, I want to also thank uh, Sherry Davis right here. Sherry Davis. <laughs> Sherry is also the spearhead person for the skate park, so the kids love her. Um, Cindy Castor, right here. Cindy, where are you? Right there, sitting down, right there. And Cindy works with CERT as well, the emergency, whatever that stands for. The people who help me out when we're having an emergency, CERT. I don't know why we always have acronyms. So now here tonight are Sharon and Morris uh, Talbert. Sharon makes the beautiful signs that tell you about this event. Morris is normally our timekeeper, but Sharon's home tonight, not well. And also, I want to thank, especially tonight, uh, Chris Dang Gowan. She made the um, slideshow that you're getting ready to see, and Chris is also very active in our community. So, Chris, where are you? <laughs> Kathy Frazier from the Waikoloa Village Association is going to be filming tonight, so we're filming for posterity. Thank you. smart woman that I am, I quickly recruited a youngster to run the slideshow. So, Dennis Honey, thank you very much. He's going to run the slideshow for us. I taught Dennis his brother in fifth grade. He told me he wanted to go work for NASA. And the good news is, he is. It's really fabulous. So, okay, before we start the slideshow, don't do me dark yet. No dark. I'm going to introduce you to our speakers tonight. I'll let you know that we went to, through a lot of people to get to tonight uh, because there's so many people who are knowledgeable about white law and we would like to have had here. Hang on just one second. Let me click on this. I'm organizing myself and I need to stay organized. Okay. Um, we would have loved to have had, and uh, some of the people are mentioned in the slideshow, so I'm not going to duplicate that. And also, what I, my tricky part when I couldn't get people here was I asked a question about them to some of the people who are going to be here. Um, some people won't be here because they're not with us anymore. And they've moved on. And we'll talk about that as well. Uh, Auntie Lauren is not going to be with us here tonight, but she gave me this lay, so that's why I picked this lay that I was wearing. 
Okay. Now, what I'd like to now do is invite the people who are going to be our guest speakers tonight up so I can introduce you. And Lisa, this is when we're going to do the ladies. So, all the people who are joining me on stage after we watch the slideshow, would you come up, please? And I'm going to introduce you. That's who you can. Mr. Mimi, <laughs> Paula, Peter, Diane, and Chris. Did I get everybody? That's it. Okay. All right. Lisa, come with the ladies. And Dave Herr. Dave works with Pete Hoffman and active in our community. So I guess you're going to do the guys and you're going to do the girls. Got it. Okay. Okay. Well, in terms of how you've ordered yourself, I guess I'll start with Rudy. This is Rudy Castaneda. Rudy is with White Willow Plumbing and he's been in White Willow since 1985. is um, I really started as a journeyman plumber on Oahu, so I'm going to ask him, uh, why did you move to Big Island and open a plumbing business here? That's what I'm going to start. I know. I co gave you this question. Not now. No. No, no. Answer, no. 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 This is my intro. See, okay. I'm prepping them for what you're going to say. <laughs> we did not rehearse. Okay. Lester, I just met tonight. This is Lester Young. Lester said you must. Lester was with Boise Cascade, which is the original developer of Waikoloa Village, and he also worked at the first clubhouse restaurant. When I met Lester, he said, "You must be new to Wai You must be new." And I said, "Yes, I've only been in Waikoloa 18 years, and I've been on the island 27 years." He said, "Yeah, you are new." And I said, well, so, "It's a perspective." Um, next is Ken Melrose. Ken Melrose is a with land development, and uh, he's also been with the Merrill Group, and you've got your own consulting group now, is that correct? And Ken built this school. So I'm going to be asking Ken. Come back to what I'm going to ask you later. This is Diane. I know, because you're out of order and I can't keep with my notes. This is Diane Rivas. She is with uh, this magazine, but she's been in Waikoloa since 1974. Right. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? You must have been born here. Whoa, day. Are you in politics? Okay, good job. Okay, this is Chris Hafner of Hafner Creating Communications Now. Those 27 years ago here. So we're delighted to have her, and she's still doing her graphic art business here and other communications. So you speak craft or graphic designs with some. I've known her too long to be uh, in the contemporary. Um, this is Peter Sitzer. Peter told me when I called him, I also didn't know Peter before. Peter worked for Canada, France, Hawaii. As a precision machinist, is that correct? Precision machinery? That's what he is now, yep. but yes. And also he is the one person up here that I know of that served on the Waikolo Village Board at some time. And Peter said, I've only lived in Waikolo 35 years. I said, that's credential enough. <laughs> well, thank you. And last but certainly not least is Miss Paula Camilla. Paula was our original librarian at Waikolo School. Paula to talk about uh, Paula and another person were very instrumental. Instrumental, I mean, and they did it. They wrote the grant that got us the 21st century dance here at the, at the school. So we'll talk more about that later. And now, thank you. If you guys have moved out here, we're going to have. We're all going to watch the slideshow again. Again, Chris, thank you for putting this together. This doesn't go that far, but some of these pieces are old and precious. I am going to read the slides to you in case your eyes are like mine. Except I got. Brand new classes last week from Costco, so I see really well right now. Okay, Dennis. Hang on. 
Ernie Ford. Actually, let's get one more light out. Thank you. Ernie Ford. I guess Rudy told me he was called the Mongoose. I don't know why. August of 1972, Wife and Willow had its first permanent resident. All right, next slide, please. May 31st, 1972 was the first annual meeting of the Wife and Willow Village Association. I don't know how they had 715 members, but that's what they say. So they must have all been absentees. <laughs> Um, in March of 1974, uh, this is the Waikoloa Village Association Clubhouse, tennis courts and pool, and the Waikoloa Village Condominiums, where you can stay for $20 a night, <laughs> or $30 if it's a one bedroom. These rates no longer apply. <laughs> okay, next slide, please. In 1974, when Waikoloa became a community, the resort area, where there was a purchase of White Willow Resort lands from Parker Ranch. And my understanding from Chris who put this together is they really wanted to promote White Willow. So they had all of these events. The Great White Willow Horse Race. The Great White Willow Open Cup Tournament. The Great White Willow Vice Race. The Great White Willow Canoe Race. And also a rodeo. Okay, next slide. In 1974, Diane, Diane Reeves, who I told you. She gives a rubber trophy to Bob Hoffman next to Ken Silva, who was her opponent. And there was 1,200 people, that's a lot, that came for the great horse race. Next slide, please. Now this is, I, I studied the slide, so I'm gonna walk up here and try to point to you. If you come all the way, see the most red spot over on this side? Yeah. That red up there? That is um, Pu'u Nui Place, which is the first cul-de-sac right after Waikoloa Hills when you come in, the very first cul-de-sac. So the long road is Paniola Avenue. So that means we are right here, okay? I had a hard time orienting myself. I was trying to see if my house was there, and then I realized it wasn't built until 1979, so it's not. But those are the 40 homes that were complete and under construction. Next slide, please. These are the, I have no idea where this is. I try to figure it out. If anyone knows where that cul de sac is, they can let us know. Where? Oh, that's Pontiola. Oh, yeah, so the other one was Pontiola Place. I called it Poo Unity Place, but it's really Pontiola Place, right? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, that cul de sac is Pontiola Place. So this is, so one of those would have been Jackie Punk's house, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Jackie Punk's house is there. We'll talk more about Jackie later. First one on the right. Jeff. First one on the right. Okay. Oh. No, you're good. Wait. Where'd you go? Here are... <laughs> these are two people who wanted to come tonight, but they've got family obligation. Wendy and Mike Hoosier working in the yard of their new residence in White Um uh, Mike had a, a band called the Hooko Street Band. I wish they were here tonight playing. They could jam. March 1975. Queen K Highway opens from Kauai High to Kailu Kona. You know, it all used to be the high road. Yep. At a cost of $15 million, 12 years complete, 21 minutes versus an hour. Okay. Yay, the White Columbia Restored. That was it. 1975. You could buy beer and bread and butter and basics. <laughs> and gas. And gas. And there was a post office and there, I didn't know there was a bar. I missed that. And there, was a, and there was one gas pump and our volunteer yeah. fire department. Next slide, please. 75. White and Willow's population passes 100. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, the store and the post office open. And um, actually, Lester's wife um, was worked at the post office, as did Auntie Morna. Um, 52 homes are completed, 20 under construction, 60 in place. From this vantage point on the golf course, a person can see more than a dozen homes. <laughs> oh, and by the way, these pictures came from Ilona Haggerty, who uh, was Ken Melrose's secretary. And so, uh, and she preceded him. Ken told me, you ought to get Ilona. I said, we can't. Next slide, please. November 1976, stables, rope polo matches, horror shows, riding lessons, guiding rides over some trails and open lands surrounding my little village. <laughs> Looks fun. Next slide, please. This is the clubhouse, 1976. 
still there, still transferring restaurants. Good luck to Banjis. Next slide, please. <laughs> the golf course, 76. Next slide, please. Some facts about the growth. 1978, 157 homes. 1980, volunteer fire department. That's always exciting when you have a volunteer fire department. Uh, February of 82, about 5,000 people attended the Great Rodeo and Rodeo and Horse Race. I wish we still had that. Uh, 82, more than 200 homes and three condo complexes. And 87, the first annual Waikoloa Keiki Christmas. 90, 1,326 property owners. And later in 90, town meeting discussed potential Waikoloa Elementary School. Later, Waikoloa land, we got a separate zip code. <laughs> Status. <laughs> Again, in 90, the shopping complex opened. And in 91, the Waikoloa Park, I guess that's the Pupu Nui Park opened. Is that right? Yeah. And then that's the end of the slideshow, but 94 is when the school opened. Okay, thank you, Chris. So